Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Armageddon Empires. We left off, we successfully completed our very first 225 and... Well, not our very first, I suppose, but we... With this this iteration of this deck, a 225 and 10 uh, tile game. And now it's time to do another one. Let's get started at it. So, as usual, we will select 225, or not as usual, but for this game, 225 and 10 again. And we will reselect our... Oh! I mean, condition, right. I am working on Machine Empire decks. I simply love deck making in this game. It is so much fun. All right. So, with this deck selected and the point totals picked, we will now play on a large map again. And we'll leave the resources and specials <coughs> at Uncommon. And I don't care who I fight. We'll fight two random opponents. And let's give it a go. Okay. And free mutants and xenopods again. All right. This is acceptable. Hmm. And they get to go first. Which is absolutely fine. Alright, so as usual, when it comes to multiplayer games, especially in particular two, uh, against two AIs, I want to push myself off to a side. This way I don't have to worry about fighting multiple enemies all at once. I think this time we'll try to go to the right a little bit. So we'll drop these dunes here. And set that tile. We'll then put our shanty towns here. And finally, our crater base there. Forcing me, as you can see, off to the right-hand side of the map. Hopefully, that will be far enough away from whatever spawns on this side that I can focus on whatever enemy is above me without worrying about that other AI until the mid part of the game. With the tiles placed, we can now place our Imperial Fortress, and we're good to go. Alright, so, we're starting off as usual. I don't care if I go first or not, so we just roll the dice. wonder why it's rolling slow today. Okay, so, we go last. That's fine. Let's take a look and see what this map looks like and what our hand looks like. Alright, so, right away, I'm a little nervous. I don't have a scout, and we don't have a hero. So, now this becomes... A race to see when we can get a hero out of our deck. That is really bad. We do have some Imperial Infantry. We can get into our base next turn to hold it so we won't quite lose immediately. But we need a hero out fast so we can begin gathering resources. And we need a scout out quickly so we can begin looking for extra places to claim other resources with. Judging from the layout, we actually, it looks like we have a bunch of heavy terrain in the center here. It looks like a mountain range. And on this side, volcanoes. Our supply is going to be somewhat limited here as well. This is going to be a tricky map for us to win. We don't have a great starting location, and we'll have to be lucky to get another any other resources around us. Okay. Ah, this could be the AI down on that side, though I don't I don't think that will be the case. Let's see what else do we have? Any other special locations that I can that I notice? No, nothing out of the blue. Or nothing nothing out of the blue. Nothing is jumping out at me as a, pl a place we absolutely must reach. Okay, right. So we don't really have anything we can do. Let's go ahead and make an army. And we'll go ahead and make a dust... Let's think. Um, Imperial Recon Dust 1. And... Then we draw a card. Oh, holy crap! We do get Imperial Recon after all. All right, let's end the turn. That's good for us to get, to get started doing something. Be a little more proactive on the map. Why are you rolling so slow, game? Why do you do this? Is that an option? Oh, I can't even. I can't even tell. One second, boy, I'm going to quickly check. Here, what? I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why sometimes the deck decides to roll low, and other times it's fast. Sorry, other times it's slow. Hopefully, I just click buttons. Hopefully, it will fix it. All right, let's deploy our Imperial Recon. Get it added to 
dust one, re-stealth it, and move it into the volcano here. Holy crap, an abandoned gas station. Uh, we may choose to de-stealth and claim it, or we may not observe it. We will totally claim it. Getting four energy. Who builds, puts a gas station at a volcano? Um, I'm not actually going to re-stealth us this turn, though. I want to draw a card instead. Rangers. Going second, we will stealth our Imperial Recon. And move it about again. So we're interested in any place we have supply. Let's head up this way next. We'll check these two Badland locations. Not picking up anything there. Okay. Now, for the... Uh, oh, well, not maybe not that unfortunate. Let's deploy the Imperial Infantry into our crater base to give it some defense. Next, let's draw another card. Still not a hero. Let's end our turn. Alright, it's looking pretty bad for us. We're at turn four, and we still don't have a hero. We've also been going last, basically, all these, most of these times. Which is not going to do us any favors, because we need lots of AP to draw lots of cards. We are forced to discard a card. We have to discard a card. Unfortunately, I really need to draw a hero. So at this point, it's a matter of what am I willing to simply throw away and lose. And I'm thinking that the air defense system is probably the best thing at the moment. It's a late game, uh, mid game card. I don't want to discard a Tiger Tank. I don't really want to discard the Emperor's Own. I really, like, I, I want my Rangers for their um, Reconnaissance and Stealth plus Commando. They're decent enough. I don't want to discard the Emperor's Own because I like my units. Unless I draw another Emperor's Own, I'm going to hold on to this. Tiger Tanks, I've only got, I think, three or four of them in this deck, so I'd rather not drop a powerful unit. I don't really want to drop my Precision Strike uh, JF2, though we can drop it, I suppose, if necessary. The Imperial Complex and Intelligence Center are too important to drop. So this means we're going to be discarding the air defense. And we get a hero. He's not a general, but he'll do for collecting starting resources. Going last again. We'd immediately deploy Hannibal Zarkov. And he will just have to sit here at the moment. We can't build a materials team till next turn, because we need two materials. I'm sorry, we need one human resource to the to build such. Let's go ahead and use Dust Recon. We might as well hit this mountain range here. Someone's detecting anything. Alright, so this is really bad. If we don't have any other tiles that give us starting resources, we're gonna struggle to make any impact in this part of the game. Well, let's we'll see what happens. Um we have... No. No, I need the Materials team. We just... We draw a card. Ah, oh, Fulton Strange Glove. And we end our turn. He also is not really... Uh, he's not a general. He's another intellect hero. We're going second. So, we want to build a Materials team. And now we need an army for him to go into. Let's make it the Alpha Squadrons. Or Alpha Squadron. And deploy Hannibal to it. We can then move him out into the Shanty Towns. Finally, we can move our Dust Recon a bit more. Oh, nice. Some tech. Okay. That's really helpful. We still want to swing down here and check out these locations as well. Let's end our turn. Still going second. We'll go ahead and build us a recruiting post. And then move Hannibal Zarkov up to the wasteland. We can then move our dust a bit. Let's think here. Uh, this is a bit tricky. 
where's the best location for him to go? Probably into the mountain and then off into this side. We'll swing him one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So another like four rounds. We'll have searched everything we almost everything we have our supply to currently. We have three action points left, but nothing to really do with it. I guess we can make another army. Ooh, free mutants really want to go first for some reason. Oh, we go second. Sa acceptable. We build a tech team, and we'll hold Z Zarkov there at the moment until we search down here for other resources we can claim. Then we're going to move Alpha Squadron. Uh, let's move them just one here. With our three action points left, I think we'll just hold on to them. I could deploy the Intelligence Center, but I'm thinking we want the Industrial Complex first. I want more resources coming in that are these types of resources. We could then increase the level of our Imperial Fortress to unlock another slot, and then deploy the Intelligence Center. We have three action points, but we do have three action points left. I have nothing to spend them on. Uh, well, actually, we, we can make another army, so let's do so. Let's make the um, 144th Armored Company, or Armored Corps. Be a shame just to waste those action points. Now, of course we don't go first. I haven't gone first yet, wow. We're gonna be bullied all, the, all this game probably. Let's go ahead and deploy the industrial complex. Give me even more resources. Then we'll move Mr. Zark Alpha Squadron back to the crater base and move him back into the garrison. That's just kind of dumb. Because if we find more resources, I'd want him to be mobile. Uh, I think we've lost this game. Honestly, we're going last most most of the time. The Free Mutants have apparently acquired some amount of resources from somewhere. And it's not looking promising for us whatsoever. Yeah, this is this is pretty much over, I think, for us already. Let's let's um Ah uh, Let's increase the Imperial Fortress level. And next turn we'll try to get this intelligence center in. We do have some points left over. Let's draw a card. More infantry, no generals still. Holy crap! All right, we actually get to go first. Wow. Well, I'm tempted to play a tiger tank. But, no, the Intelligence Center is the better thing to do. Because with the two extra AP, that would let us get Tiger Tanks, when, even if we went last all the time. So let's deploy the Intelligence Center next. And then we're going to level it once, because I want the third action point bonus this will give me. And it gives me Sniffer 5. We can then go ahead and use Imperial Dust, uh, this recon. Your army has discovered a nomad caravan. You may choose to de stealth to claim it, remain and observe it, or continue on your way. We will claim it. This will give us a few human resources. We can then re, uh, re stealth dust and leave them there. With our leftover points, why don't we deploy Fulton Strange Glove? It gets him out of our hand, it gets another hero onto the board. He also has two command rate, which makes him. I guess he can lead an army if I absolutely must have someone doing so. Yeah, and of course, because he's a higher command, he takes over as our commander. We have four action points left. That's enough to draw a card. Let's do so. Another hero who's not a general. But she can at least stealth. Um, No. Now that we deployed the listening post, 
I'm sorry, the, the command center. I don't really need to go first anymore. We still are earning 11 action points each round. Okay, so now what? We still need to explore a little more. So let's move here. With our leftover action points. What are we not getting a lot of? Ah, we're getting a bit of everything. Especially with that... Um, what is it? The generator? With the industrial complex deployed at the base. Why don't we deploy either the Emperor's own or a Tiger tank into the crater base? This way I actually have some decent defense here. And while we're here, why don't we move a group... Let's move it into, um... Oh, no. We should keep... Let's just keep them there at the moment. We don't need to do anything else. I think... Let's deploy Valentine Kusanagi as well this turn. And we'll get her into the Recon Ash 1. Normally I'd make her an, own ar an army for her, but I just don't have the action points this round to do so. Okay, let's, ah, let's make that army after all for her. I'm going to forget. Valentine, Kusanagi. We can move her into that army. We have to re-stealth her again, and we can begin moving Dust Recon a bit more. A weapons cache. We, let's claim it. And we get a, oh wow, a GBF 763 Fuel Air. Plus 4 to the attack, times 3 to the damage, and it can be attached to an aircraft. We will re-stealth Dust. We actually have a GS2 we could attach it to. Hmm. That could prove really useful. This would allow us to annihilate an enemy structure of some sort, and with the GS2... Giving it to it, if we're able to have it attack an enemy facility, like, it can choose what it attacks. That could be an amazing benefit for that aircraft. Hey, going first. Wonderful. Alright. Let's move our recon a bit more. Let's go ahead and deploy these rangers. We need a unit out and about that can move outside of our normal supply range without penalty. So we're able to begin figuring out where we need to begin moving to. Like, where are the other resources that we're looking for? We have to find them quickly. With our leftover points, I th think we should probably deploy another unit. Let's deploy the Emperor's Own. We're still okay here. I think we're at the limit of what this garrison can have in terms of an army. Let's move Valentine Kusanagi a bit. We're gonna move her out in this direction. I wanna see what's in these volcanoes in these spots. We have one point left over. We could attach this to our JS2. I think we'll do so. The only bad news now is that that makes it so that I really need to be... I can't use this to kill something like... If I go after a scout, it will totally use that munition in its attack. It's better suited to go after something large with that attached to it. Okay. Let's begin looking for other resources. We need to figure out where we're deploying the rest of our... Our fire bases when we eventually get them. Nothing out that way. Nothing out that way. Okay, so we found all the resources we currently have access to. Hmm. Let's draw cards. Hey, okay, a scout. This is good. He actually can lead a small-sized army. So we can give him... It's like we can deploy another tiger and a grom. He, he can lead a tiger, a grom, and two imperial infantry, for example in battle. 
that would leave a tiger and an emperor's own here at the base. He's not a general, but he'll still do. Hmm, sucks for you, free mutants. Sorry about that. Hmm. Guess I shouldn't be complaining so much. We're actually getting first when it matters more. Okay. Well, I don't really need to move the dust, the imperial dust, a whole lot. I'm thinking, hmm, why don't we move it into where? Ugh. So, because, because Dust doesn't have Commando, I don't want to leave it outside of my supply. I want Because this way I can easily move it away from trouble, so trouble rear its ugly head. But leaving it in the mountains here, although it's out of supply, it would pick up enemies trying to get close to it. There, in, there aren't very many forces that would be able to go into the mountain to fight this guy, even if they detect him. So, first off, uh, because this is a mountain, it has more defense dice, and I believe that helps conceal the dust, uh, the dust, the stealth unit better. Also, because it's a mountain, an enemy generally won't be able to uh, reach this place unless unless the free mutants are up here with a, a very fast general or scout. They won't have the movement to approach, get into this tile unless they're right outside of it. So, this would probably be a good location. I'm thinking to start what we'll do this turn is we'll move the recon one, two, three, four. That gives me a small sweep at this city to see what might be in it. We didn't detect anything. Okay. Next, I think we'll move Kusanagi. Abandoned gas station. Who builds all these gas stations in the volcanoes? Like, side by side? Compete competitors? <laughs> That's a bit weird. We'll take the free energy, though. Next, let's deploy Simon Gordon. A Sigmund Gordon. And this tiger tank? You might as well. Let's go ahead and now get them into an army. And we'll get them into the armored core. I think we'll add a tiger tank to that. We'll add a... Hmm. I'm going to put the Grom in it. If I'm going to put the Grom in this... Actually, we can deploy the Grom right now. We might as well, we should do so. Hmm. Let's move the Grom to the Armored Company. And now the question is, what else should this get? It really wants an Imperial Rangers in this to benefit from Master Scout. If we put Rangers in it, I can also put the Emperor's own. And that would leave a Tiger Tank and Imperial Infantry back at base to defend it. But I need another Rangers first. Let's add the Imperial Infantry to it. And that will do for right, for right now. I'll bid one energy. We got not a whole lot to spend it on at the moment. And we go last. Okay, let's deploy another infantry. And we'll add it to the armored core. And now it's at its max size. So it's a it's an okay force. It's enough to scare something. Uh, it's enough to definitely destroy enemy scouts who approach. I'd have to swap out the two Imperial Infantry for the Emperor's Own and Tiger Tank if I really wanted a powerful army. But I can worry about that later. Let's go ahead and move our recon a bit. We'll move it just into the mountains. And then, you know, we're going to move the dust recon into that city. Oh, no we're not. Oh, I should have moved into him. 
We found an enemy leader. The Xenopods are up this way. That is not what I wanted to see. We can try capturing him. We'd be out of supply, though, with Imperial Recon, so we'd have to make the attempt with the with this Recon instead, with Ash. All right. Let's draw a card and end our turn. Oh, hello! What was there? What was there? Critters. They haven't quite found me yet. Armored Core can't reach them, so we have to kill it with Ash. And we have to kill it. Unfortunately, this is the mountains. So he's gonna get extra def some extra defense dice. We might not actually kill it. Wow! Excellent. We wipe him out. We re-stealth, and thankfully, he didn't detect our main base. Let's move Kusanagi a bit. And that... Oh, and we'll draw another card. We could Oh, we could begin a research lab. Let's deploy this infantry. And... And okay. Pseudopods are now aware we're in this area. They probably at least detected my recon that, and it's in supply. We'll have to be a little careful. Oh, wow. There's energy right there, but we can't claim it. Let's use this recon a bit. Hmm. He was over here, not up in this direction. That's interesting. He must have come down this way. Let's go ahead and draw some cards. An actual general, Honoro Aris. Let's deploy him. We'll add him to Alpha Squadron. And we'll add the Tiger Tank and the Emperor's Own to that. Kusanagi can also move. And there's no... Uh, we have one more... We have a few tiles up this way. Just check them to see if there's any more supplies that might tempt us in this way. But so far, it looks like we're going to be dropping a fire base or a keep up in this area. We at least have this resource, and we would be able to reach the city. Let's move our dust. Actually, no. I want dust staying there. We'll move ash into one, two, three. We didn't detect them. I guess we'll deploy the tiger tank. What? We'll it to Alpha Squadron. Ah, lots of Tiger Tanks are deployed. That's awesome. And draw two cards. Actually, no, we should move Kusanagi again. Eluded Secret Vault. We may choose to de-stealth to claim it. We may not observe it in our way. We will, of course, claim this one. We gain three materials and three tech. We also gain machine data banks. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Let's re-stealth you. And we'll increase... Oh, we can't increase the level of this. So this attaches to a facility, which would attach it to our research lab. It generates one tech each round, and makes it easier for us to develop technology. And genetics cards. That's amazing! That's really lucky that we found it over there, too. Okay. Well, we've got some points left. What else do I want to do? I think we should just draw a card. And another tiger tank. That's fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Why don't we bid two of these each round at the moment? We're getting three materials. Okay, let's move our recon about a bit.
Is that a supply? Consorts. Crap, and they're in supply. Which is really bad. Dust will try to take them out. No, they won't! Oh, crap! We might lose them. I forgot we were in the... Wait. Oh, we were... We started... Wait. Oh! You moved the wrong units around, Tim! This was the unit you... Okay. I wasn't paying attention, and this will... This will... I'll be hurt for this. I wanted to move my rangers into battle against the Horde Thull. I thought the rangers were here. That was a big mistake. Why don't I use one of my two reloads... ...here? Two pawns and I see each other. Of course, the problem with the reload is that now we have to re-roll to see who goes first or not. I'll engage them. Let's do it. Oh, game! I hate you so much. We're not gonna. We're not gonna get. It, uh, we're, we're not gonna destroy it. God, I hate you. Uh, I'm just gonna take another reload then. And of course, he'll probably damage it uh, at least once. Two damage on it. That was really embarrassing. Here they come to wipe, wipe out the... Wipe them out? No, another consort. Oh! No, wait, never mind. Never mind. We, well, although we took damage... Although we took damage, we didn't use the fuel air attack. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and move this unit into this desert. We might get lucky and be able to wipe out both consorts. One damage only. He's retreating because of counterattack. And we wipe out one of them. He's got to stay for one round, so we might be able to wipe out both of them with a single ranger unit. Ah, they blocked them both. He's trying to retreat. Let's see if we can gun him down. That's a fantastic roll. We do so. Maybe stealth. Okay. Well, that actually worked out well. I'll still leave my Dust Recon there. And I wanted to, le uh, to level our fortress. I need more human resources. This is Stark. Awesome. Another leader. He'd be a better leader for Alpha Squadron or the Armored Corps, honestly. Probably this unit, because this is going to be my strong heavy hitter. Okay. Let's move this Imperial Recon away from what's up here. Kusanagi can move into the mountains. And I think now we will increase our fortress level. And we can only... I th think... I don't think we can upgrade it again. Let's deploy the research lab within it. We have the points. Let's level it up once. And end our turn. Next, we can attach our data banks to this. That's amazing. That is a really great attachment. Next, uh, let's move our recon into the crater base. And we can heal them. Or, oh, they're stealth, so we can't quite do it. We can stealth them, and then we, we pair them. I think we'll keep the armored core around. 
Let's deploy the... Yeah, I want the armor core around. Okay, let's go ahead and move Seaman Gordon. No, 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 you want him there. Move an Imperial Infantry out. No, oh, wait, stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want to move... I want to move the Rangers into this, this unit. It's because Simon Gordon would benefit from it. But realistically, it would make more sense for me to keep the Rangers as they are as a separate unit. Don't deploy them yet. There's no reason to do that. What you should be doing is... Um, you should be drawing cards. Because you need a fire base to extend your... Your range. And we did not get one. Okay. Oh, wow. It's turn 24, everyone. So we're going to stop right after the roll to see who goes first. Darn you, Xenopods. Alright, everyone. So that will do it for us. So let's take stuck at the situation. So, not a great deal of supplies coming in. However, the industrial complex plus this machine data banks is really going to make a difference for us. With giving us an extra materials and energy each round. Yeah, so this is this is making it bearable at the moment. We only got lucky with this. Well, actually, we did get lucky with this attachment. I thought we would use this when we attacked the enemy um, hover pod. I thought we were going to lose it, which is why I, I was like, Oh, yes, I hate you, game. I hate you. But no, we did not. Uh, we did not, in fact, lose it. We have no other resources around us. We have not seen the Free Mutants. We know the Xenopods are up here, and they have supply to at least this location. But they were out of supply when we saw them marching around down here in the mountains. From our hand, it looks like I'm really tempted to deploy the Imperial Recon, but we may hold on to it. I'm thinking maybe the Armored Company, we move Simon Gordon into Imperial Recon Ash. Actually, that would be, that'd be, that'd be the best thing, Tim. Deploy Gordon into Ash. This is Stark takes control of the Armored Core. We get a Tiger Tank added to this as well. And or a Shock Vindicator. That gives us a powerful... A, two decent armies ready to go. We also can begin working on some technology. Or genetics. Without fake cards, this becomes difficult to do. But we might be able to do so. We would get six dice here to make a four die challenge and the threshold's minus one, so we only have to make three successes, for example, to get this. And this is the... F I always start with Ascension Mutagens to improve the power of the hero, so he has a better chance to make anything else after that. Anyway, it's something to consider. And I don't think we can level... Oh, we can level the Imperial Fortress up again. Okay. So we can make another uh, one more spot if we actually want to deploy a Missile Defense later on or a War College in this location. We could also increase the, improve the power level of the research lab again to make it even easier for us to produce cards. But I think we're not in the worst... We're not looking that bad, but without a whole lot of other resources, this is going to get tricky. And this might be New Panath, is what that location could be. Which would explain why they have supply here. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm done, everyone. Uh, thank you guys for watching. You can let me know what I, I should do, by the way. I read all the comments, just in case you guys have any ideas. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching, everyone, and take care.